what's up my beautiful light babies welcome back and welcome in and welcome to your new year's reading i tried to get an outfit it's a onesie to be in like you know the christmas spirit for these readings okay don't judge me <laughs> first off i do want to say thank you to everyone who reached out to me an email to check in on me while i've been out these past few weeks i emailed you guys back so look out for them emails i sent you guys something special for the holidays okay i am sorry you guys i've been busy traveling and taking care of some work things that i really gotta you know move through and get out of the wave before the new year comes up so i've been super busy but i promise that soon this channel will get on a cyclic basis okay i will definitely do that for you guys but right now i'm just following where spirit takes me i'm just in that journey right now following wherever they take me all right so today we're going to be looking at your new year january 2022 what's potentially coming towards you in the first half of the new year this energy can be starting at the end of this month because we're in december the end of december or going into january i just want you guys to remember that this might not resonate with you yet okay so <laughs> energy is energy it might not resonate yet but it might resonate soon because we're obviously doing you know the year in advance all right you guys so we're just gonna flow with spirit today just basically see what's coming up in a new year this will be a general reading for my fire signs we're gonna take a look at your career money love pull some cards in your spiritual care and self-care so what you can do to bring in your new year with some more balance all right i always love to say take what resonates and do the rest you know your situation better than me unless you are getting a personal okay so again flowing with whatever spirit brings to us so um because this is a new year's reading i'm going to add some advice from spirit for the 2020 year i'm also going to add anything if you guys have any obstacles that are coming up i'm going to add how to overcome them for the new year so if you need that that's going to be in this reading also um you guys it's going to be pretty much this reading is pretty much trying to prepare you for some of the things that's coming up in a new year so you might not have any knowledge about what's coming up okay so Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> First off, let's go ahead and call in all of our angels, guides, ancestors to watch over us as we get ready to begin this new year. I ask that you bring in blessings to the lives of everyone who watches this. I ask that you lead them in the right direction when it comes to their journey here on this earth. May their life be full of positive transformation to all areas of their life in this new year. And it is done. We are receiving it. We're receiving the positivity. I always say, if you believe in it, you can receive it, all right? And now with that being said, <laughs> Spirit, let's go ahead and get into this, okay? I do want to start with you guys' money and career and see what's going on with that, okay? Phone out the way. All right, you guys, everything's already cleared. You know the deal. Stage to everything, make sure it's good. Spirit, tell me what's coming up in a new year for my beautiful Aries. Tell me what's thank you so much, Spirit. Change. All right, Aries, and y'all got some change when it comes to y'all career. Some of you guys, I can see right now that some of you guys are looking into a career change, something that will pay you more. I feel like you guys are sitting in a certain energy where Things might be steady. This is for some of you guys. Things might be steady right now, but you're looking for something more. So there is, I, I feel like in the new year, you're going to be looking for what fuels me more passionately. That could be for some. So career-wise, it's kind of like you're looking for something that you love to do, if that makes any sense whatsoever. You guys might be trying to do that as an option. And I also see change coming in your home life. Let me let me let me stop getting ahead of myself, okay? Okay, okay. Spirit, go ahead and give me some more messages for my beautiful Aries and their money and career. Oops, that's a lot, but you know what? I'm gonna take them. It's a lot, but I'm going to take them. So we have pathways. Spirit is opening up pathways for you guys in the 2020 2022 year, okay? And something around a father figure might also come up. Ooh, and finding out for some of you guys you're finding out a lot of things that's making you change your direction okay for some of you guys i feel like if you have a court matter when it comes to you know this might be a side story so this might not resonate for every aries but um 
with the thief here and the courthouse and the high honor some of you guys might be finding out or taking somebody to court when it comes to them stealing from you or finding out that you were in a bad deal and how to get out of that deal i also see here that there is something to do with a main male but i get more so of like a father energy some of you guys might be dealing with something to do with a father okay um, showing where you guys in 2021, it's like you guys worked your ass off. I feel like Aries, y'all been like literally like trying to get to some, to, to your goal and you might feel like it's not coming fast enough, but spirit is saying here that just wait a second, wait a second. It's coming. I feel like you guys feel like you guys have been working hard and for some of you guys, you just, you're finding out somebody has been stealing from you, the hermit. And Spirit is asking for you guys to come out of hermit mode. Or in 2022, you guys really might take the time out to step back and figure out what do you really want. Going into the new year, you're going to be saying, what do I really want? What do I really want to accomplish? Okay. And here still, we have the page of coins also After next to the hermit. We have the page of coins. Okay, so this is letting you know that the money is going to come in. The money that you're seeking is coming. The money, I like to tell people what you're seeking and seeking you also. So if you're seeking a pay raise, if you're seeking a better job, again, something that you want to go in your favor, spirit is letting you know you're right around the corner. You're right around the corner. Even though it feels like you've been walking a lot, spirit is saying if you keep going and you keep going, like that's the test. I kind of feel like that's the test. You just, it's like, it's right around the corner, even though you guys might not be able to see it. Some of you guys can see it. And it's like, you're going within, within the 2022 year to really bring this to you. I feel like you might be buckling down and saying, you know what, this is what I want. This is how I want it. And you're going to go for it, okay? Because the hermit is going within yourself, okay? You're going within to get clarity on a new job. You're going in to get clarity on your money. You're going in to, to you know, get your personal truth. And for some of you guys, you're going to be, your spirit is going to be showing you so many different things that you're going to be like, okay, so what do I really want to do? Because I feel like spirit is saying, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this choose wisely you know what i'm saying so go within get that clarity see what you guys want to do and the ten of cups is at the bottom of the deck for you guys so some of you guys might be going into a marriage a new relationship something that really fulfills you that's going to make you happy that's going to help you fuel different things okay and if not you're trying to make more money for your family you know what i'm saying i see like where people are just like i i need to make more money because my family needs this you know maybe your kids maybe you have a father that's sick and you're trying to pay for his medical bills. You know what I mean? It it all depends on your situation, my loves. Let me go ahead and pull a different deck. One second. All right, so let's go ahead and give me some advice for my beautiful Aries in the 2022 year. What do you have to tell Aries? Guys, ancestors in the universe, thank you. See, with greater awareness, you will find the answers you're looking for. Can't make it up. So you guys, Spirit wants you to go within in the 2022 year to really make sure like what you're seeking is what you want. Okay, don't spend too much time in despair. Move through the emotions and release it. Some of you guys are getting out of a bad relationship, a bad situation. Spirit is letting you know that was not the end all be all. If somebody wasn't giving you their all, if somebody wasn't giving you the time of day, what you deserve, Spirit wants you to go ahead and release that, okay? Even if it comes down to a job, I feel like, y'all, um... I don't want to say taken for granted when it comes to your job, but that might be for some, you know, maybe you don't feel um, like they, they really treat you well in your workplace or they give you, you know, the pay that you deserve. So again, this is different things within your life. I see, I also see for Aries, you know, dealing with family member stuff also. You will be surrounded by people with different agendas. They might scare you away, but fight it. You got this. You guys, release it. Release it. You know, I really had to realize when it comes to other people's energy. Say, for instance, and this is just an example. You see, you know, somebody might steal your parking spot, right? And you're like, this motherfucker done stole my goddamn parking space. I should beat your motherfucking ass, right? No. 
because they're projecting their shit onto you even though you're upset you know okay you took my parking spot that person was miserable enough to see you waiting for that parking spot and still take it that's what i'm trying to say like don't take their energy from them okay release that shit make sure you wear some type of crystals make sure you you know pull up your protection when it comes to the energy that you suck in from other people don't take action when there's a feeling of resistance hold on let me let me go ahead and clarify this. Spirit, oh, thank you. Lessons in life will repeat until they are learned. Some of you guys are in this space where spirit wants you to learn some lessons so you can go ahead and release that shit. You guys, I know it's shitty to say because sometimes it hurts, but the quicker we can get through releasing some of the stuff we've built in and taken in, again, I like to tell people that shit probably ain't even your own energy that you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might have did I am wrong and you're taking their energy about the shit they feel towards you. And it's not even your own energy. But because you guys are connected and, you know, some of y'all are dealing with spiritual karmic, spiritual, all types of shit. It's the connection because you can feel their energy. If you're on my channel, I know that you have some sort of spirit and guide you here. OK, so that means you are some sort of gifted in some sort of way and People will take and take and take. Some people don't even know that they're sucking off of you, you know, sucking your energy off of you. Spirit is letting you know right now it's important for you to learn this lesson so that when you move into your 2022 year, you can have the prosperity that you want. So this might be not, might not be for everybody, but you might have been stuck on a certain cycle in your life, okay? You might be stuck in a certain cycle, whether it comes to love, your home, your job, whatever cycle that is that you could be per like possibly stuck on. Spirit is letting you know you have to go within to achieve that healing so that they can bring in the things that you've been manifesting. OK, because if not, the cycles are just going to keep repeating. They are. I'm telling you. Spend less time worrying about your appearance. You are enough. For some of you guys, it, it's like this, somebody might have hit your insecurities. And now it's like, you know, bothering you. And it's understood. But let me tell you something. You a badass motherfucker if you're here. Okay? And if you kiss, you still going, keep going. Don't let nobody else tell you who the fuck you are. And that's just straight up. They cannot tell you who you are. They're projecting on you because they know what you're great and what you're supposed to do. Like, they know you're great. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to project their negativity onto you. Their, their negativity about you don't even have anything to do with you. It's their insecurities. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's not easy to be like, you know, well, I feel it. I feel it. Especially empaths. We feel that shit strongly. Got to release it. Got to release it. Don't compare your life to others. Your journey is your own. You got to release it. Sure, go ahead and give me some more messages. It's, it's okay to not have all the answers. They will come to you when you need them. Don't lose yourself trying to hold on to someone. Again, you guys, let go so that healing can come. Let go so that healing can come. Spirit, go ahead and give me some more answers. Oh, I was going to say, give me some more answers. Some of you guys, it's like you're looking for closure. You might be looking for closures from a person. Spirit is saying you're going to get more of that closure when you go within. Take some time with meditation. You'll get that closure. Go ahead and make some more messages for my beautiful Aries. Don't worry so much about not finding love. It will find you. Again, spirit, you guys are calling in your soulmate, but you have to let go of someone first. And uh, there's no easy way to say that. In order for you to achieve what you're trying to achieve, you have to let go of the past, okay? It's already done. We got to live in the present. That's the best way is living in the present. Hold on one second, you guys. Spirit, go ahead and tell me what's going to help my Aries overcome these obstacles. Go ahead and tell me what's going to help my Aries overcome these obstacles. Thank you so much. Mm. Listen, you guys. Changing your life. They want you to know whatever it is you're thinking about right now when it comes to releasing and letting go, it's a yes, okay? Take positive action towards your life. Some of you guys might have been being too hard on yourself. 
spirit is letting you know right now that you're good. You're going to be good. If you let go, you're going to be good. Trust and believe it. If you let go, you're going to be good. Spirit, go ahead and give me some more messages for my beautiful Aries on how to overcome this obstacle. Access clear thinking. Some of you... Whoa! <laughs> I almost knocked my candle off the thing. Oh, my God. You guys... Some of you guys may maybe need to get into lighting white candles, doing a little bit of candle magic. Access clear thinking. Going within. We started with the hermit. They're just reassuring you guys that if you are doing this, you're on the right path, but keep going. Keep going. You have to. You have to, have to, have to, have to keep going. First, go ahead and give me some more messages for my beautiful Aries on how to overcome their obstacles going into 2022. What will bring them more balance? Thank you, Spirit. Think first before you judge. Okay, let me let me keep going before I get into that one. Spirit, go ahead and give me some more messages for my beautiful Aries on how to overcome <clears throat> how to overcome their obstacles. Surround yourself with love. Don't be afraid to sing. Take a chance on them. For some of you guys, there's someone you like and it's like you haven't been able to take that leap of faith because you've been hurt in the past. Spirit wants you to know that the person that you're looking at is somebody you've been calling into your life. And for some of you guys, you might not even know that this, of course, you don't know that this energy is coming towards you yet, okay? They want you to take a chance on when it comes to your happiness. Take a chance into what makes you happy. Take control over your own narrative. Okay? You got the control of your life. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for what you want. For some of you guys, you really need to get of a judgment, get out of a judgmental um mindset, attitude, you know, thinking the worst before. You know what I mean? Because, again, what you're attracting towards you is what you're thinking. And I'm not, I, I, I'm victim of, not victim, I don't even want to say that. I understand what it means to always have to think negative. You know what I mean? I've been through my mom having breast cancer three times and having to stay positive constantly, constantly, constantly. And sometimes I'm just like ready to throw in the towel. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, spirits are like, y'all you, got this. Your family got this. You know what I mean? Even though our mind wants to go, boom, directly to the negative. Even though that happens, it's like you have to fight it. You really do have to fight it. Because it's what you're attracting to yourself. How is this? It's what you're attracting to yourself. No matter how much that sucks to say it, it's it's... It really is. And on my mom's part, too. You know what I'm saying? So if you're dealing with, you know, sick family members, that shit ain't easy. It ain't easy. It's really not. Spirit, go ahead and give me some <laughs> advice to my little for Aries. And what they're overcoming in the year 2022. You guys, this deck feels a little bit heavy emotional withdrawal this you guys are getting a lot of cards of spirit begging you to go within so that you can really start making things move in your life okay base chakra the waiting game financial and material changes so you guys know the changes are coming it's kind of like you just got to do the work to get there you know what i'm saying you have to get over and it's like you have to get over some sort of a heartbreak too it's kind of like somebody might have been vulnerable to another person and it wasn't reciprocated okay Right now, it feels like you're 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 feeling like you're in a waiting game. You're feeling like, you know, why am I here? What am I doing? Can you make my path more clear? You know what I'm saying? That's how I perceive you guys' energy. Emotional loss, yeah. Sacrifice and sacral chakra. You guys, in a past relationship, you might have felt like you sacrificed yourself just to be with them. And you no longer want to be in a relationship like that. You're like, I'm worth more and I want more. Heart chakra, exactly. 
moving on moving on from the bullshit disconnect dis discontent and boredom but spirit wants you to get out of your head okay even though you're in a little bit of a waiting game right now shit's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay okay it's gonna be okay hold on one second let me swap out the decks and the song that's playing right now is beautiful life Okay, restlessness. Find a way to calm the waters of your mind. You guys, for real. I felt like I really just got really like somber and sad. Follow your heart and make your values a priority. Some of you guys are going to definitely be working on your core values and what you want. Again, what you want in love, what you're not accepting no more, what you're going for. Self-sabotage. You might be creating pain for yourself by standing in your own way. Get the fuck out of your own way, you guys. Get out of your own way. Hold on. Get out of you guys' own way. Hmm. Like a caterpillar that emerges from its cocoon, you are about to get your wings. Now the question is, do you want your wings? Of course the fuck you do want your wings, Aries. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I can go on and on about how this person broke your heart, how they did this, this, and that. But is that the energy we're bringing into our new year? No. It's not. It's not the energy we want to bring in our new year. Spirit, go ahead and give me some more messages for my beautiful Aries. Give me some more messages for my beautiful Aries. Because I feel like this person might have told you everything you wanted to hear, but it didn't come true like that. Willpower. Use your willpower to bravely overcome thoughts of compromise and defeat. So this pretty much, told, they're, ask, they're asking you, Aries, this whole reading has been letting go of the past. So y'all need to let go of that shit so y'all blessings can come in because I see a lot of blessings for you coming in. It's just getting out of your head. Getting out of your own way. Happy accident. Fortunate accidents can act as guides to edit and be open to where you should go next. So again, it was just a lesson. It's, it's not punishment on yourself. Even though in the moment it felt like punishment, even in the moment it hurt so fucking much... It's, it, it wasn't there to be everlasting pain. Even though some things do scar and they take a while to heal, you got to do the healing. You got to go to therapy. You got to give yourself therapy. Buy gratitude cards, healing cards. Go on Amazon. Seriously. Buy some gratitude cards. Buy some cards from the universe. Something that I have them somewhere here. I'm not sure exactly where. Um... But I'm going to try to put the link in the description for like the universal card, the universe cards and stuff like that. Stuck. You may be stuck because you're overly attached to a method or a piece. You guys have to let go of what you thought was going to be and really realize that we have no control. I like to tell people we have free will to a certain extent because it's the truth. We have free will to a certain extent because we're here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So spirit will keep kicking you in the butt. And the universe will keep kicking you in the butt until you decide, I deserve more and what's best for me. You know what I'm saying? And we all go through it. Especially if you're here for a purpose, we all go through it. Hold on, you guys. We're going to move on to you guys' love, okay? Spirit, go ahead and tell us what's coming in for my beautiful Aries, for their love life, for 2022. Fingers crossed. We only calling in positivity. The positive things, okay? Passion and magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. So in 2022, a lot more passion will be called into your life. And if that is something you want, passion within love, passion within your work, passion in with what you do, I'd start calling that shit in from now. Letting the universe know that's what I want for my 2022, okay? Let's go ahead and give me one more message from this deck. 
for my beautiful Aries. They're telling me to take the one on top. Be aware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So that could come back to the judgment card that you was getting, okay? It's kind of like trying to see something from a different perspective to bring you that healing. Let's go ahead and get our romance angels. Because I feel like for some of you guys, it's like, I don't want to be cheated on no more. You know what I mean? I, I'm trying to get to that the, that good place. Spirit, go ahead and tell me what's coming up for my Aries in the 2022 year and the love light. Go ahead and give me some cards for my Aries and the love light for 2022. Thank you. New fucking love. Did y'all see that shit pop out like that? Okay. I know y'all saw how that shit popped out. Okay. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So 2022, y'all got some love coming in, okay? Spirit, go ahead and give me one more card on this new love. Spirit, give me another card on this new love. Thank you so much. Free yourself. It's time to take a break and control your life. This is the second card from two different decks that has said the same thing. Taking control. Taking control. For some of you guys, it's like heavily important to take control of your mind and where it's going and the direction it's going in. Okay? Ooh, you guys, engagement, children, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and passion. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. But I'm, I'm just saying. Because these didn't technically fall out. But what I am going to say is you guys might be in an engagement, might have some children, might have a heart to heart, and have some more passion. Okay. <laughs> I really do seriously see that though, Aries. I really do. Let's go ahead and pull some cards from the Love Tarot deck. <clears throat> Spirit, go ahead and tell me about this new love for Aries in 2022. The lovers. So you guys might really be finding the one. Okay. You guys really might be fine or finding at least somebody that's going to ignite that passion within you, okay? A stable person, a prince charming, <clears throat> a reliable person. I feel like strongly you guys getting that lifestyle change that you've been wanting. So if you've been, you know, manifesting and praying in the hermit again, some of you guys need to come out of a hermit mode and then some of you guys need to go in. So it depends on where you're standing, you know, it's your energy. So some might be standing in a certain energy where it's, I've already passed that part and some of you guys are going to get through that part now, okay? Spirit, go ahead and give me some more messages for this new love for my beautiful Aries. The Hierophant and the Emperor. So this person is going to be... Okay. So hear me out. For some of you guys, this is not for everybody. You're going to really vet this person. Like, you're going to be like, why are you here? What are your real intentions? What's going on? Don't overthink it too much, okay? Don't, again, sabotage yourself. Because for some of you guys, this person... Also, because you know, um, the Emperor is a, a leader, Okay? And for some of you guys, this also talks about a father figure. So you might see this person as someone that you do want to have your kids with. Somebody that would make a good parent, okay? Somebody that is just, you know, I don't want to say everything you wanted, but it kind of feels like that, okay? Some of you guys might have the same traditions, the same expectations. So it's like a breath of fresh air. But first, you're going to have to get through Queen of Pentacles. So more money coming into you guys too. And also that's fertility, okay? This is letting me know that you guys are going to be stepping into as soon as you let go of the past. You're going to be stepping into this prosperity, and it's going to it's gonna feel a little bit unreal. And then that's where you're going to be like, no, I deserve this. You know what I'm saying? I really do deserve this. Thank you so much, Spirit. <laughs> I want to pull one more card. And uh, then we'll go ahead and skip to Leo. Get on with Leo. <laughs> King of Cups. And you guys know that's somebody supportive. That's somebody who's going to understand your emotions. That's somebody, I don't want to say who's going to tolerate you, but it's somebody that's going to be like your yin to your yang. You know what I'm saying? So Aries, I love the energy for you guys. Just let go. 
we 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 all gotta do it just let go all right aries if ain't nobody told you they love you today i'm gonna tell you i love you today if you don't stick around for the rest of the reading again check your sun moon rising venus all of those and see what else resonates with you guys all right let's go ahead and hop on to leo's my leo's hold on one second you guys Did I just pause that? I did. I'm just reorganizing the decks, okay? One second. Hey, Leos. Y'all excited? I want to see what's coming for you guys. I'm excited for you guys. All right, Leos. So let's go ahead and see what's coming in for my Leos for their career, for their money. Leos, what's going on with you guys for the 2022 year? So let's go ahead and give me some messages for my beautiful Leos when it comes to their money and career. Thank you, Spirit. Change again. Okay, so some of y'all pathway and the lovers. Okay, Leo, I see you guys. I fuck with this energy. Some of you guys, the pathway is opening when it comes to your love life too. And for some of you guys, you're going to find something when it comes to your career that you're going to change into that it's going to be something that you love to do. So if you're thinking about turning some sort of a hobby into money, that will work in your favor right now. But I see this as a positive change. Because the pathway came out right next to it. For some of you guys, there might be someone that you get into a certain relationship for, with that's going to facilitate and help your, your change in the workplace. Mm. Some of you guys need to make sure you don't sit in a despair energy of what was. If the door is closed, let it close. Stop looking. Stop trying to peek behind it to see what the fuck's going on with it. Okay? Let it go. Let it go, like fucking. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Frozen? Y'all, I got, I got kids. Okay, frozen. Let it go. Spirit wants you to let whatever it is in the past go, and once you do that, but I even feel like you're in the middle of doing that. So right now, you guys are clearing your path by letting the door fully close, because I feel like there might have been something. Y'all got message in courtship. For some of you guys, this person might try to come back around and say that they've changed or say that it's different or they'll be different. But this is going straight to your love. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with y'all money. But y'all going straight into love. Someone's going to be messaging you guys soon within the 2020 year to let you know that they're better, they're changed. Because the courtship card is here. So this is telling me that they might try to court you again for some of you guys what i also am seeing is that there might be someone that tries to recruit you for a new job like hey 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 you know i want you to do this 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 and th that for me and it might be a uh, older woman but make sure you be careful with who you trust okay make sure you don't fall into any you know bad traps when it comes to signing certain agreements but I do see that you guys might be afraid of your, it's, it's kind of like you guys don't want to lose financially. So you might feel like, oh, if I make a change or a certain change happens, that you might be losing out. But Spirit is saying here, you gotta, you have to take the leap of faith when it comes to your, your career, your, what you love to do. It's more or less like you have intuitive ideas and you kind of just need to get that out. So if some of you guys spirit has been sending you messages and telling you like, you know, you need to do this or it might come in the the version of, you know, a thought. Oh, that was just a thought. Okay, spirit gave you that thought for a reason. Okay, 
you guys need to take action when it comes to some of your intuitive ideas and what you want to do with your life. Because it's it, to me, I feel like you guys are feeling like it's coming down to crunch time when it comes to making some sort of a choice when it comes to your money and career. And Spirit is saying it's going to be okay. Just make sure you keep... You keep believing and moving and literally make the right choices. So again, looking over your contract, not getting into bad business with other people and letting the past go. Let the past go. Let, let the past go. Whatever it was in the past that you're holding on to. Some of you guys, there was a situation within your workplace that didn't agree with you and it really took a toll on you. And you're saying, you know, like, I never want to deal with that again. A family room. It keeps going back to your love life but then again for some of you guys this is also saying like you're trying to bring in you're concerned about your family and your family's well-being and how do i make sure that my family is secure you always want to make sure your family is secure like that's what i'm getting you're like i want to make sure my family is good i want to make sure everything's good within my family and you know the, re the, the rest can pretty much suck salt for now but you guys you're on a journey you're on a journey Leos, you are on a journey. And I just want you to know, like, going three cards into the bottom of the deck, you have fortune there. Great fortune. So it's kind of like there's something that you're going to be doing that will bring you that great fortune. And Spirit just wants you to choose wisely. And there's something to do with a house here, too. Within the 2022, years, 2022 year, you guys might be moving, thinking about moving, getting something that... Or getting a new car. Because I feel like I see you guys traveling. So you guys might want to get a new car. Or have a choice between a car and a house. So you know again. Move wisely. When it comes to your stuff. Move wisely. Make wise movements. Make sure y'all reread. If it don't make sense. If it don't make you money. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. And stop looking behind those closed doors. Spirit go ahead and give me some more messages. King of Swords. So, you guys are thinking right now, the magicians at the bottom of the deck. Should I drop my boundaries to make this move? Sh or, or it to me, and then I, another thing that I do see is that you guys' boundaries might be too high when it comes to certain things. And you need to go ahead and really decipher what you need to have high boundaries for and what you can start bringing down those boundaries to. So whatever works, you know what I mean? If you got to start opening, going, <laughs> bringing down those boundaries so it can start opening up new ways for your journey, your pathway. You guys are going to get a message within the 2022 year and it's going to be some sort of an offer that's going to help you bring in that. Okay, King of Coins is at the bottom of the deck. So it's somebody that's going to invest in you. And you're going to, I do see you really moving with this. I see you moving. I see you moving. And it's kind of like you might be moving a little bit slower than you want, but it's like the movement's happening, okay? Okay. getting your stamina up the empress for some of you guys you might get pregnant within a 2022 year so be careful of that if it's not in your plans you know make sure you protect yourself but i do see an unplanned pregnancy for some of you guys there might be people that you have to go to war with i'm not even gonna lie to get what you want because i see that i feel like you guys might have to go to war to get what you want but it's like spirit is gonna be right behind you for all of this the chariot and you see how he looked in this? And I was just saying going to war. It's like you might have to go to war with for what you want. But Spirit is saying it's going to be worth it. Whatever it is you guys are doing, it's going to be worth it. The struggle that you're going through right now. Uh, usually people, your hardest years, if you feel like your years have been hardest, it's going to be your most successful at the end of it. I promise you. As long as you keep that positive attitude. As long as you know what you're working for, the lovers, as long as <laughs> some, I see some of you guys, I want to say fucking a lot, right? But I don't, I don't want to say that, <laughs> but some of you guys might be exploring your passions that way. 
for certain things. So you might be, you know, finally giving in to someone who's been trying to court you for a while. Or giving in to your options. Yeah. It, and you see, it's kind of skipping around. Because it's kind of like you guys have options with so many different things. You're trying to figure out, okay, what's going to be best for me? Spirit, go ahead and give us some messages for advice. If all you're doing is waiting for the really big moments, you won't value and appreciate the small ones. Hey, look, that's deep as shit. Sometimes we want our rewards right away, but we gotta be patient. And I know fire signs, we usually ain't that patient. Don't lose yourself trying to hold on to someone else. You guys, let go to fucking pass. They, if they said fuck you, then say fuck them back. Literally. Don't take offense to that. That's just being straight up. If they didn't care about your energy in the first place and all those red flags kept popping up, let it go. Be careful who and what you surround yourself with. Exactly. You can, you might be giving out energy and this person might be sucking your energy or something sucking your energy and they don't got no business doing that. Realize you have all the qualities to be a leader. Some of you guys, you know we're here to teach. Some of you guys want to open up your own things and see if it works. Like maybe YouTube, maybe, you know, start doing Instagram, start doing something, do it. Okay, don't take action when there's a feeling of resistance. I literally just said do it and then looking down and seeing that card. Ooh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Be patient. Trust the weight. Everything is coming together. You won't always feel alone. You're attracting your soul tribe. Believe in yourself and your ability to carry out your dream. It will all make sense to you soon. Do not give up because something did not work out right away. Don't spend too much time in despair. Move through the emotions and release it. You are going to make mistakes. It's okay. Sometimes you learn by messing up. You have intuitive intuitive ideas that you really need to act upon. So, fire signs, I'm getting this. I well, Leo, but for the fire signs, I have been getting, or whatever this is for your placements, your astrology chart, you need to make your movements, okay? There's things that you might have been sitting on, um, you know, creative ideas you might have been sitting on, and you're like, well, I'm waiting for the right time to do it. Spirit is letting you know that the right time is now. Okay, and it's important to surround yourself with like minded people because if they're not on and of course, they're not going to be on the same journey as you, but the same mindset, the growth mindset, stuff like that, they're not going to contribute to your life the way you need them to. Okay, they're just not going to do it. And whether it sucks to say it, but they won't. You have to surround yourself with the people that want the same things as you. That want to be in the same place as you. You know what I mean? And to the top. They want to get to the top. And I don't even. I'm not even saying the top in like an egotistical way. I mean like the top of where you want to be within your life. You know what I'm saying? And literally the song said on the top. Spirit is so good to us on this channel. Okay. Thank you spirit. It's like you're you're telling yourself, I know I have this destiny. I know I have something I need to go after. But it's kind of like finding your footing. You want you want you want it now. But spirit is letting you know, even though you have to go through the Gideon, you're going to be fucking unstoppable. You just have to keep going. You don't it's like you already been through. I, I want to say the worst, but you've already been through it. OK, you've mastered that. Now it's time to keep going. Stop trying to hold on for what's not for you. And put that step forward for what is for you. Letting those doors close. Believing in yourself. Believing in your dream. Because you can't go out there and say to somebody else, Oh, this is my dream. This is that. This is this. To somebody that's sitting there looking at you like you're fucking crazy. Because what you want and what God and placed in your mind, what your God did, what the universe did, what your spirit guides have done, your ancestors, you cannot expect somebody else to see that same vision for you. Okay? And that's another thing. Make sure you watch out who you're telling your business to. Make sure you don't, you know, leak certain things to certain people. Because I say evil eye is a real thing. Evil eye is a real, real, real thing. And people would say, oh, 
and truth be told, as soon as you turn their back, turn your back, they gonna never make it. They gonna never this. They gonna never that. Ha ha ha. Ki ki ki. Let me tell you something. Not everybody is for you. Watch who you surround yourself with. Everything's gonna make sense to you soon. It's like everything in the 2022 year is going to make sense of what you went through in 2021 and 2020. Because I feel like it's it's backdated, even then 2019. So 2019, 2020, and 2021 are going to make sense, more sense to you than ever in 2022. Like, oh, okay, I had to go through this, 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 and that to get where I am. Oh, I had to go through this, this, that. Oh, it makes sense. Now it makes sense. We know how that goes. Okay. You have all the qualities to be who you were sent here to be. You have all the qualities. Sorry. You have all the qualities. You just got to believe in yourself. And again, don't let other people get into your mix, get into your shit. Because truthfully, they don't even deserve to be there. They don't even deserve to be in your presence, some of these people. They're sucking your energy from you. Because I feel like you've been around a lot of emotional vampires. And it's kind of like you're waking up to it now. Like, damn, you know, they was really only using me. Damn, they, you know, they didn't contribute anything to my life. But I was giving and giving and giving. So, calling back in your power. And telling yourself you're worthy. is going to be your biggest thing. Believing in yourself. Having patience. Because spirit is letting you know everything is coming together. You are right where you need to be. Literally, you are right where you need to be. You done been through it all. And it's kind of like, that was just another test. And Spirit is saying, let's go ahead and jump into this next role. Hold on, you guys. Let me drink some. All right, you guys. Spirit, go ahead and let me know what our beautiful, beautiful Leos have to do to overcome their obstacles in this 2022 year, okay? What do my leaders... Oh, I said leaders. Oh, my gosh. I was supposed to be Leo, but I said leaders. Okay. What can my Leos do in a 2022 year to overcome their obstacles and bring more balance into their life? assimilate life experience take positive actions listen aries literally just got this too practice positivity so this is going back to letting you guys know that your mindset creates your life okay and if you're constantly thinking positive you're drawing that positivity into you okay become more objective Show self-respect. Step into the unknown. This is just so... It, it's so out. I see. I just feel like in the new year, you guys might be, like, just fucking a lot. I don't know. I keep trying not to see that, but Spirit is, like, telling me... Um, that you guys are going to be having like a lot of energy exchanges. They want you to be positive. They want you guys to be positive. When it comes to a relationship, when it comes to your health, when it comes to your wealth, be positive. Temper your criticism and break addictions. For some of you guys, you might feel like you might have had like a certain addiction to a person. Like you might have felt like addiction might be a bad word, but... You fell head over heels for someone and they only disappointed you because they didn't give the love that you were expecting. Because you might have poured yourself out to this person. This person did not give anything back. Spirit is letting you know to close that door, okay? It's not good for you to keep it open unless... I, I don't even want to say unless. If somebody is not giving you back the same energy, stop. Because then at that point, they're just taking from you. And they want you to know to love your body. Listen to your intuition. And recognize divine timing. Love your body. I'm getting that strongly, you guys. Love yourself. Love who you are. So 
So go ahead and give us some more messages. Oh, thank you. I don't even have to finish. You can manifest your every wish. Listen, Leo, y'all know y'all stronger than y'all look. Or y'all just know your strength. You guys might be sitting in this period where you might be in Leo's shadow, meaning you're in the shadow side of yourself. And Spirit is letting you know you're about to be stepping out of that. And at the bottom of the deck is forgive. So there might be somebody you still need to forgive. And Phoenix, how's that for a happily ever after? Listen, overcoming the past is not easy. Overcoming what cuts you so fucking deep is not easy. But in order for you to find the prosperity that you seek, you have to step up your manifestation in a positive way while letting go of things and people that might have just been draining your energy. So go ahead and read some more messages from my beautiful Leo. Thank you. I feel like some of you guys might be dealing with a Gemini. A Taurus, raindrops, take a chance on them, space, don't be afraid to sing, surround yourself with love. You guys, Aries was getting these cards too. So check your check the Aries reading before this one, okay? Stand up for yourself, think first before you judge. I'm just being called to pull more, you guys. One second. So go ahead and read some more messages to my beautiful videos. You've earned all your stripes. Okay, I think that was it for this deck. Y'all earned your stripes. You, you're meant to be here. If you had any other thought about what you're doing and what you're meant to do, Spirit is letting you know let that shit go. You're meant to do it. If whatever you're contemplating on, you were meant and born to do it, okay? If you need some sort of confirmation to take that leap, this is it. Spirit, go ahead and give some more messages about what my Leos will encounter within the 2022 year and how to overcome them. Disruption. Disruption to what, Spirit? Disruption to what? Tell me what this disruption part is, please, Spirit. Thank you obstacles and challenges for some of you guys you're going to be manifesting a way to get over these obstacles that's coming up within your your new year but hold on one second first go ahead and tell me what these obstacles and challenges will be surrounding intuition patience and planning so some of you guys there's something coming to fruition for you okay and you feel like it might be taking too long so spirit is letting you know this is a time for you to use your intuition when it comes to divine timing and really having patience okay the patience and the planning are are here you just have to navigate it some of you guys need to sit down and really plan what you want okay make a business plan or business plan for your love life you know what however you want to say that make that plan have your goals i'd show you guys my vision board they're right over here in my office but i'm pretty sure i won't be able to get this damn phone back on this mount if i do but one day i will like i have my vision boards right in front of me i have one for who i want to be and who i want to become and then i have another one for my business and how i want to achieve things you know what i'm saying so pretty much that type of category it works seeing it every day reminds me like that you are the shit you are the motherfucking shit keep going because everything I wrote down four years ago, I am it now. Times 1,000. Okay? Write that shit down. It becomes real when you write it down. Plan it. Strategically plan it. Don't let that be your obstacle, okay? Because that's a crazy obstacle to have. All I had to do was plan this shit out better. Move on. Move on from that closed door. Some of you guys might have did something and it didn't work out in the... The beginning or the first time spirit is saying like don't carry that shit into your future things can work out the second time around truth and then it, it's like you're having you might have an issue accepting the truth i'm gonna change this song you guys i'm sorry it's it's not resonating with me mm. okay 
some some of you guys it might be hard hearing the truth but it's gonna be worth it's gonna be worth it hearing the truth is gonna be more beneficial don't make that an obstacle hear it digest it feel it let the emotions run through you and let it go let it go let it go thank you spirit let it go and that's so hard to say like i always be telling people like it's so much easier said than done it really is because to heal listen that shit is not easy healing is not easy it's not and you guys gotta forgive yourself stop being so hard on yourself forgive yourself for what you've gone through it was necessary look at the knowledge you got from that knowing what you don't want now you know what i'm saying like really getting in that okay now i know what i don't want and it really did have to happen for a reason and i know that shit can be triggering as fuck to hear but it did them lessons learned was hard as fuck, but there was for a reason. Visionary, you are learning to synthesize all of your creative ideas into action. Look at that shit. Universal mind, you're about to receive the solution to your problem or concern. Spirit is so good. They're letting you know right here and right now that you are going to receive all that you need. Positive life changes. Positive life changes are ahead if you choose to trust in the process. This shit is literally self-explanatory. You guys stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting who you are. You know y'all are motherfucking shit. Why me? The fuck? Y'all know y'all the shit. I feel like some of you guys are like, okay, but should I make that business idea like that? I don't know if it, this person said that. <laughs> All that other extra shit. Okay, fuck them. If spirit puts something in your intuition, do it. Do it. Do it. Stop waiting for like that acknowledgement for other fucking people. It'll come when spirit hit it in their fucking face. Hit them in their face for it. Happy accident. Fortunate accidents can act as guides to edit and be open to where you where you should go next. You guys know you're on a journey. You know you're going somewhere else. But the question is, are you ready? Is that what you want? Go deeper. Expressing the deeper meanings in life while staying attuned to childlike wonder is all that all is <laughs> is at the heart of all great art. So going within and really figuring out, okay, what do I want? Let go. What if anything can be done to let go of what is standing in your way? For some of you guys, you're standing in your own way. Move around. Move around. You can't expect other people to believe in your dream more than yourself. At the bottom of the deck is start. You must start from where you are. Examine your situation and take a chance. Take a chance on yourself. Don't wait for somebody else to take a chance for you. Take that step out. Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of what the boundaries you place yourself in. Step out of it. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and post some love messages on what's coming for you guys in your love life for 2022. I keep wanting to say 2021, you guys. So if I do, just, just nicely correct me, okay? Nicely. <laughs> nicely correct me. All right, Spirit, go ahead and tell us what's coming for my beautiful Leos in the 2022 year for their love life. Thank you, Spirit. Criticizing one another will only lead to, for, oh my God, further unhappiness. I've never seen this card. I'll, me having this deck, I've never seen this card. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Wait, do not rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. For some of you guys, you're in a period of, should I take a leap of faith with this person that has been in my life after something? I, I feel like because... It's after something has gone completely wrong. So I feel like right now you're in this new space of how can I make this go right? If you're already in a relationship, it's kind of like you guys 
realizing the needs of one another like okay i can do this to try to make it easier when it comes to their peace of mind and they can do this to make this easier for my peace of mind okay so it's like not going at each other's throats anymore finding a positive way to bring things together when it comes to your relationship Spirit wants you guys to know that if you are trying to take it to the next level, don't rush too much, okay? Or you might be with someone that you know you're really wanting them to kind of pick up the pace on, you know, taking it to the next level. But Spirit is saying here, just be patient, okay? Be patient. Hold on one second, you guys. And also, I just like that letting go of past relationships because I, I feel like some of the wounds from past relationships might be carrying over to a new relationship. And Spirit is saying, yes, acknowledge the red flags, but still, still don't don't um, push something away that might be good for you. OK, Spirit, go ahead and give me some messages for my beautiful Leos on their 2022 love life. I feel like you guys might be a little bit apprehensive to certain things. Hold on, let me grab that for you guys. Okay. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah. What was I just saying? Now I can't even remember. But I feel like it was along the lines of the trust. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Some of you guys might be taking shit too serious right now. I want to grab one more. But spirit is letting you know, like, tap into probably trusting your partner a little bit more. Or trusting what the universe is bringing to your love life a little bit more. Okay? And bring in that aspect of the inner child. Bring in that aspect of your inner child into it. Um, and what? <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's like all the way under the table. Okay. I got it. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. Oh my gosh. What was I just saying? What was I just saying? Some of you guys might be afraid that you're rushing into marriage too quickly, but you're not, okay? You're not. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just looking at it. And Spirit's like, keep going. What you doing? So, you guys, 2022 might be bringing in some awesome things for y'all. They love it when you say awesome. Spirit, go ahead and give me some more messages for my beautiful Leos for their 2022 love life. So, obviously, you guys are getting the Ten of Cups cards right away. Like, y'all jump into it. So we have the Ace of Swords and we have the Four of Swords, all right? So what this is letting me know is that you guys are bringing in the, the mental clarity when it comes to your trust and how you want to go about this, okay? So you're like, okay, you guys might have been in a relationship for a long time and you're like, okay, it's finally time for me to, you know, give in might be finally time to give into marriage send that marriage proposal the new idea of the marriage proposal or um for some of you guys um just watching out for this someone might need to have some sort of surgical procedure done um however that works and then you know getting the rest from that after after renewing yourself some of you guys and this is also saying you know recovery coming from a bad situation having to recover yourself from it and that's going to allow you to put the trust into your new relationship the trust into the relationship that you actually want to blossom you actually want it to be fertile okay and that's a good thing for some of you guys you might just need some more sleep okay you literally might just need some more sleep rest preparation and i feel like some of you guys might be quietly preparing to send out this marriage proposal also you guys are you and then i'm also feeling so strongly like using mental force to bring that truth in because you know the ace of swords can also mean truth okay bringing in that justice for yourself because i don't feel like you got it from that other person like i i don't even feel like 
they said sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't even think that they said, like, hey, yo, I'm sorry for doing this, this, and that to you. So it's telling me that you're really working on, you're going to be working on your growth in 2022 when it comes to your love life. Working on that growth. Justice. Again, what did I just say? Eight of Swords. Getting out of your head when it comes to your King of Cups. Getting out of your head. And Two of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So instead of waiting for results, I feel like you're making the choice to start this growth in 2022, okay? This Justice card lets me know everything. Karmic justice is a real fucking thing, okay? So whether you got what you needed from the past, Spirit is letting you know that you're going to get it in the future. Regardless. Regardless, you did right by somebody, somebody gonna do right by you. Justice. The eight of swords, y'all need to get out your head when it comes to what you feel like you deserve. Because what that past person gave you has nothing to do about you. It has more self to say how they feel about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that don't love themselves can't come in and love you. I feel like you guys are coming out of a period of isolation and that, you know, this might be real deep to say on a general reading, but it's kind of like this person came in and imprisoned you. Like, it's like they played a lot of fucking mind games. They played a lot of, you know, how am I trying to explain this? You know, when you get into like one of those abusive relationships and the person is just like fucking you up mentally, like, you know, what was you doing last night? I don't believe you type shit, you know, like send me proof type shit. I feel like it was more so like that. And you caught, you kept giving in, you kept giving in only for this person to shit on you. And for some of you guys, that might be what's holding you back from your king of cups, having that, you know, scar on your heart. So having to let that go is hard, but understanding that you're getting your king of cups after healing that is more. So fuck letting the person from the past win because obviously they doing whatever the fuck they want to do. You know, it's time to heal yourself within and just be like, I'm going to call in my king of cups. And then I do see this other person being a jealous is what spirit is saying. Because I feel like they're saying I fumbled the ball. You know, I could have had that, but I fumbled the ball. So let's go ahead and leave some more messages for my beautiful Leos and their 2022 love life. And the crazy thing is, I feel like for some of you guys, it was like you had so much prosperity and fertility that you brought to this person on a platter. And see, look, the Ten of Cups. You, you saw your ten of cups with this past person and you kind of poured out your emotions to this person. You were over vulnerable and you said, you know, this is what I want and I want it with you. And it's kind of like they shitted on that. And then in 2022, when they see you moving on, getting out of that, them dragging your power from you, taking your power from you, you're taking that back in 2022, realizing, okay, I'm not going to suffer anymore because of somebody else and what they did to me they couldn't give me what they did what i deserved i'm gonna move on to what i do deserve ten of cups they're lost it's their loss because i feel like they they could have had the world with you ace of wands they could have had the world with you some of you guys are going to be creating a lot too four of pentacles so you guys not only want long-term security, but again, I do see this with the four of pentacles here. I do see the past person might come back, but spirit wants you to know, just look at them red flags, look at them red flags and make sure you, you, <laughs> you know, you keep that in mind with, when you're making any decisions. Okay. Remembering that opening a closed door, trying to reopen a closed door, is only stagnating you longer, okay? It's only stagnating you longer. You need to rest yourself, contemplate what you need to contemplate, and quietly prepare yourself for your new beginning. Quietly. Quietly. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it, it, quietly. Prepare yourself for what's coming. 
because I feel like it's a it's about to be extreme. Y'all about to step into so much prosperity, Ace of Pentacles. You guys get in that new job. You guys are investing in your new your your the new phase of your life. Okay. For some of you guys, you're going to be tacking on a new stream of income. Listen, I pray that for everybody. Tacking on that new stream of income. I think that's it, Leo. That's it. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's it. All right, Leo. Y'all got this. If ain't nobody told you they love you today, y'all already know what's up. I love you. I am wishing prosperity on all of you guys. Getting over these situations. You guys are so strong. Listen, keep up the good work, okay? 2022 is... We, we got to speak positivity into it. We really do. You want positivity? Speak the positivity into it. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and get into Sagittarius. Again, you guys, look for the timestamp in the description that'll help you guys out to get to your part of the reading faster one second You guys, I try to make short, shorter readings all the time. It doesn't really work out like that, okay? <laughs> all right. Leo, I see something. Leo, I keep seeing something about a new house. New house. All right. Let's go ahead to uh, my Sagittarius. I almost said Aries. Sagittarius says you might be dealing with Aries soon. An Aries adjudication. Mm. But that was already flipped out. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys when it comes to money and career. And thief flew right the fuck out. For some of you guys, you're going to find out in 2022 that somebody's been stealing from you. Hold on, let me figure out what this is about. Spirit, go ahead and tell me more about this deep card. And coffin reversed. Okay. And journey. Journey was flipped over. You guys know how these cards work. They always be flipping over. And marriage. All right. And then there's poverty at the end of the deck. This side story, you know, of course, take what resonates. For some of you guys, there was somebody that you were dealing with that stole so much from you. And it's kind of like they're coming back around in 2022. In 2022, this person might be trying to come back around and give you an explanation as to why they stole from you. That is literally for a select few. And for some of you guys, they're going to use the excuse of a child. So they might have said, oh, I needed the money because of my child or however, because I feel like this right here, these two cards is a really sticky, fucked up situation without me going too far into it to make this reading any longer. I feel like this was a fucked up situation that you were in and you were finally digging yourself out of it. So maybe digging yourself out of the debt that they put you in and now, you know, they might come back around and for some of you guys that might trigger you. Okay, but they, I'm telling you something, somebody might be coming back around just to get your money. Adjudication keeps flipping over. Occupation and community. And bad health is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Sagittarius. Let me get into this a little bit more. Let's first go ahead and tell me some more about my Sagittarius situation. Privileged lady. Again, for some of you guys, somebody's going to be coming back around because they know you make more money. Spirit wants you to be very, 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 very aware of this. Someone might be only coming back into your life to get what you have. Okay? Hold on one second. This might not resonate for everybody because this seems a little bit specific. There was something that you thought was dead, 
but it's coming back around and I feel more strongly that this is not for a re I don't necessarily feel like this is your career other than the fact of you getting a boost of income in your career and then somebody coming back around that feels like you know you're gonna just automatically take them back because you might have been really in love with this person and that's just for some take it as it resonates it's been a long ass journey i feel like you've been on a long ass journey and you're just like what's i don't want to say what's next but i do want to point out that there will be someone that comes back for, from the past that's coming back more so for your money and they're going to be sitting in bad health so they might actually really need you and it's going to be up to you on how you deal with that situation let's first go ahead and thank you so much spirit there's another one turned over in here somewhere child and main male Sagittarius, why is there so many people in this? Because I feel like this was something that somebody orchestrated where they was just stealing shit from you behind your back or you were giving, giving, giving because this person said they needed it for their child. I put this candle out by knocking it. So for some of you guys, this person might come back around and you you did that shit real quick. Like you're like, no, I'm not going back there. Like your intuition is going to kick in as soon as this shit starts going down. And it's all about your money. And they're going to use, I feel like they're going to use something to do with a child as to why they need you. So it's very fucking specific. I don't know, you guys. Take it as it resonates. It's very specific. Poverty. They're, they're in poverty. They can't find a job. Um, there's somebody here that just can't. They're not doing well without you. So you might have been the breadwinner in the situation and was constantly taking care of this person. And it was taking your ass for granted. So now it's like, I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. I don't want to deal with it anymore. And it's like they always have the boo-hoo, me, woe is me ass stories too. And that's probably how you got sucked into helping them before. Family room adjudication. So I feel like this person too, they might have had a family outside of you guys' relationship that you didn't know about. And you might be finding out about that. In 2022, spread God and me some more messages, please. Or you guys might be finally ready to work on your own family and your, your wealth from your family. Judication just keeps wanting to come out. But some of you guys, this person might be going through some sort of a court case when it comes to stealing from you. And I feel like this shit, this shit must be like a fire sign thing. Like, you guys, we got to imprisonment. So somebody might be going to jail here for some shit that they had no business doing. And I feel like it has something to do with theft. Um, Sagittarius, I want you guys to know something also. Start making sure your paperwork is good when it comes to anything. Your business, all of that shit. Start making sure your paperwork is good, okay? On your own time, make sure your shit is good. Because I do start, see somebody getting arrested within this situation. And then unexpected income too. You guys, make sure your paperwork is in order. Make sure your shit, your, all your stuff, your stuff is in order. Because I feel like that might be the only thing that might get you hemmed up. But I do see someone going to jail for some wrongdoings that they did when it came to money. I feel like somebody's finally putting their foot down here. Or the justice system is just getting into it. And it has something to do with two men, two women. Two men, two women. Make sure y'all 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 know what y'all situation is. Again, this might come as a warning. Make sure you get your paperwork and all your shit together, okay? When it comes to anything that you got going on, make sure your butt is covered at the end of the day. Because let me tell you something, these other people and the coffin reverse too could be telling me that something is getting resurrected. So it could be like some sort of a cold case, some sort of a cold something that's coming back around that you guys might have thought was dead. And it's just coming back. And you're it's, it's on your mind. So spirit might be intuitively telling you that this is going to happen. You know what? Hold on. Spirit might be telling you guys intuitively that this is going to happen. Tell me about this, this card for my beautiful Sagittarius. 
Spirit, go ahead and tell me about this gift card for my beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you so much, Spirit. So we have the Ten of Swords. Three of Wands. So someone was working together to really take, okay? However this is going, because I don't want to put sides on this. Because this could be for you, Sagittarius. This could be for a cross watcher. Or this could be about somebody that's doing this to you, okay? But it's telling me that there's going to be a painful end to this situation, okay? There's going to be a painful ending. But at the same time, it's like <clears throat> you guys might be teaming up with someone to fix the situation before shit hits the fan. Or that might be what they're doing, you know, against you so again that's why i said you know make sure your shit is or in order so that nothing comes back on you and when it comes to this nine of swords it's kind of like you guys know that this is coming you guys know something is coming down when it comes to some sort of business and, and money transactions For some of you guys, if someone sold some sort of inheritance from you, that will be coming back. Justice will be served. Because your end card here is the Wheel of Fortune. I, I don't know if you can see it. It's the Wheel of Fortune. So luck is going to go in your side. I strongly feel that though. Y'all just get your shit in, to, in order. Get your shit together, okay? Any legal matters, make sure y'all asses is covered. Especially if it got anything to do with government money, food stamps, anything like that, make sure your shit is covered. If you pulled out any business loans, anything like that, make sure you get that shit in order too. Something about um the treasurer. The treasurer. The treasurer for some sort of a business. Mm. You guys are going to... Spirit's going to give you an idea that's going to let you understand how to deal with this situation. So you're not alone. With the page of wands here, Spirit's going to give you an intuitive download on this, okay? Four coins. This was all about greed. When it comes to your money cut, y'all getting a lot of money in career cards. This is awesome. Awesome fucking sauce. This is a warning for somebody. If it's for you, Sagittarius, take care of y'all shit. Start in time now. Okay? Start covering that ass. Time now. Times now. And you might be saying, oh, not me, blah, 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 blah. Get your shit together. Four of Wands. Five of Wands, I'm sorry. Five of Wands. Get start getting y'all shit together, okay? Because there's some things coming up in your 2022 year that you're going to have to face. And it's like there's no hiding from it because the law is going to be involved. Some sort of lien, some sort of judgment, that it's going to be involved. And we have the chariot. Spirit, go ahead and give me another card for the chariot. Spirit, go ahead and give me another card for the chariot. Knight of Wands and Ten of Wands. So I'm leaning more towards the guy is who was who was ever embodies the male energy is who was stealing or who's going to get caught stealing. And then for some of you guys, it's like you really have to step into that creative mode to get yourself out of whatever this might be. But the Ten of Wands is here. The Ten of Wands is here. So you guys might be stressed out from the situation and it's going to feel like it's a lot of burdens, but spirit wants you to really listen to your intuition. Listen to the red flags, ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. You guys have to get mental clarity around this. Do not let these people fuck you over. Seriously, I'm going to end this one here. Do not let people fuck you over. The sun is at the bottom of the deck. Y'all going to have strength. Y'all going to have strength. To get through this. You will. You guys will have your happiness. And a joyful outcome. Okay. You will. And don't let this shit scare you. 
I'm just letting you know what's coming up for your 2022 year. And if this this is for somebody, if you have anything to do with business, y'all start coming y'all asses time now. Time now. Spirit, go ahead and give me some advice for thank you. Remember, you came here to teach others. You have so much to offer the world. Don't ever doubt your contribution. For some of you guys, I feel like you're going through some... So you're going through a change in what you thought was your calling and what you thought was your destiny. Hold on. But this is going to bring you um, material changes in abundance. Like, it's going to give you that abundance. It's okay to be different. Don't try to fit in. So spirit might be showing you all of this shit happening because you might have tried to dim your own light in the past. Your life is at a turning point right now. You're ready. That's literally what this card says. I just said that you guys are going through a change in events when it comes to what you thought your destiny was and what direction you thought you were supposed to go in. This is letting you know that it's changing but it's for a reason. You're stepping into this chapter for a reason. It is time. And Spirit is letting you know that you're ready. You're ready for this change. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting yourself. Not every storm is here to fuck shit up. Some of it is coming to clear out things that don't belong there. Spirit, go ahead and leave some more messages from my beautiful Sagittarius. With the obstacles. You're creating a you that you will be proud of. Seriously, be careful who you take advice from. This has been coming out a lot for people like, it's been saying, watch who the fuck y'all have around y'all. Believe in yourself and your ability to carry out your own dreams. Uproot your life and leave all that is familiar to you. Spirit, you are so good to us on this channel. I cannot ask for anything more, but I can. <laughs> but this is letting me know that you guys are in a destiny change. You're in a change of everything that you thought was familiar to you is being uprooted. And you guys might just be sitting there like, holy shit. And then I see some of you guys also in the um, in a meditation position saying, fuck it. Let it all come. Let it all happen. So it, it's, all up to, it's all up to what energy you're sitting in. It's up to whatever energy you sit in. Do not give up because something didn't work out right away. Okay? It's just, if it didn't work out, take them lessons with you to the new chapter, to the new phase. Don't beat yourself up. A powerful change will transform your life. Know that whatever decision you made was the right decision. All the right things will come to you in the most unexpected ways. Know that you are safe and you are protected. There's still time to change the road you're on. It's never too late. If you need to break the rules, do it with conviction to make a difference. I feel like this is talking about the legal situation that was coming. You will be a great success, but you will have to go through it to get there. There's lessons to be learned. Again, do not take those lessons as punishment. There are fucking lessons that you're going to have to take into the new chapter. You can't be this you can't go to a new chapter being the same person you were. Two years ago, a year ago, five fucking months ago, fuck look, yesterday. You cannot take that person into tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You're changing for a reason. You're changing because that's going to elevate you. Okay? Stop holding yourself to the past. Stop tethering yourself to the past. Take ch um, chances. You'll realize how perfect something will turn out. So stop beating yourself up, Sagittarius. Seriously, stop doing it. You deserve love. You deserve to be loved. You deserve prosperity. You deserve to be prosperous. You you deserve abundance. Start speaking that shit into your life. I'm speaking it in if you're watching this video. If you are in this spot and this in this change, I'm letting you know you deserve greatness. You deserve to be great. Now receive it, okay? Receive it. Spirit, go ahead and give us some messages for our beautiful Sagittarius on how they can overcome their obstacles and bring balance into their life in 2022. Love your body. Love your body. We can, I, we can nitpick so much, especially us women. 
that embody the feminine energy, we, we can sit in the mirror sometimes and nitpick at everything, not realizing that when somebody sees you for the first time, you don't even know how beautiful you are to that person, energy-wise, not even just outside. You got to remember that energy carries also. So you could be the prettiest fucking person in the world, but once your energy nasty or ass nasty, okay? <laughs> Seriously. It's different when you embody that loving, beautiful energy, that energy of wanting prosperity, fertility, and growth. Not that I'm stuck and I'm going to make everybody over. I'm not saying that's what you guys are doing, okay? I'm just saying. We can nitpick at ourselves. We can be the hardest critics on ourselves. But spirit is letting you know it's time to start loving on you. Love on yourself. Bring in that love because you got to love yourself for somebody else to love you the way you want them to. Seriously. It's a no. Let me find out what that is for. Spirit, tell me what this is. It's a no for. Minimize guilt. Some of you guys need to let go again. Let go of what you've been going through. Okay, stop, stop beating yourself up for what you have gone through. Stop punishing yourself. You already went through it. Don't punish yourself more. Seriously, you know, I, I wouldn't say everybody, but a lot of us really go through this phase of us going through what we had to go through. And then on top of it, <clears throat> excuse me, on top of it, punishing ourselves even more. Like, isn't that crazy that we like some of us do that? Like, we're like, oh, she never did this. Or, oh, I knew that it was going to turn out bad. Why the fuck I do it? You know, like, it's... Stop punishing yourself. Stop punishing yourself more. Break addiction. Create boundaries. Some of you guys need to create boundaries around certain people that's been gaslighting you. Take positive action. You guys got to get out of the headspace of a victim and get into the head... And that's not for everybody. Get into the headspace of... I need to take positive action in my life. Liberating your soul. And releasing your fears. Releasing your fears. And you know, this This has a lot to do with the lessons that you've learned, Sagittarius. It has a lot to do with the lessons that you've learned. So go ahead and give me some more messages for my beautiful Sagittarius. Don't doubt your word. Seriously, you guys, you are always enough. Make sure you tell yourself that when you wake up in the morning, every single morning before you go to bed, when you're saying your gratitude. When I wake up in the morning, I say three things I'm grateful for, even more, because I start going down the list. Before I even get out of bed, I say thank you, thank you, thank you for this. Thank you for my toes. Thank you for my fingers. Thank you for my paychecks. Thank you for everything. Okay? I say thank you for everything. Well, not everything <laughs> before I get out of bed, but I'm just saying, you know, saying thank you. Thank you. God, you know, my heart universe, you know, my heart spirit, you know, my heart. It's, it's literally as simple as that. Letting you know that you are worth it. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting your ideas. Stop doubting, doubting what you can bring to this world. See, slow down and celebrate yourself. Exactly. You deserve sugar, not salt. Okay, so fuck the person who brought salt into your life and start creating your sugar that you're going to pour into yourself, okay? Clover, release your guilt. Enough. I can't make this shit up, Spirit. You are so good to us. You are so good to us. I cannot make it up. Release your doubt. Release your doubt within yourself. You are so much more. Tree, let them go. Voyage, you already have all the answers. So there is someone that you really need to just get out of your energy field. You guys, there's those um cord cutting candles. Do a cord cutting spell. If you need a good cord cutting spell, message me, email me, okay? Leave a comment. Usually what happens is when you leave me a comment, it'll help me get to your email a little bit faster, okay? If you need a good cord cutting spell, hit me up. Let me know, you know, what religion you're into. Like, what do you believe in? And that can help me help you navigate what type of cord cutting spell to do. Because you need to. Let them go. Let them go. 
you already have all the answers that you need. Spirit is just waiting for you to get out of this phase and start acting on it. Be your own first priority. Taking care of yourself. Confidence. It comes with time and practice. Again, practicing certain things. Put up sticky notes in your mirror in the um the bathroom when you wake up. So when you get up to do your morning routine, the first thing you're seeing is positivity before anything of the day can seep into you. See oh, wow. What the fuck? Before. Oh, my God. My mind is so dirty. You guys, I'm so sorry. Um, oh, my gosh. It's the song. Shanti, I'm playing. Okay. 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 Let's get back on the same page. Practicing the self-care and the positivity and the gratitude. Gratitude is a big thing. Gratitude is a big thing. When you're doing any type of journey work, any type of spiritual work, anything like that, you have to be grateful for what you already have before spirit can give you something new, okay? Because we can get stuck into this, oh, but I, I could have had it with this or I could have the, the, let the closed door close. Stop trying to reopen that bitch. Stop trying to reopen it. Set your own positivity. Set your own faith. Stop giving, like, stop giving other people, here, give me, give me my faith to me. No, fuck them. They don't have the same vision as you. Set your own boundaries. Set your own positivity within your life before you step out into the world. And that will give you the shield that you need to not take on the, these other people's energy, okay? So go ahead. Thank you. Weave together the crown you deserve. Listen, this is... Y'all deserve the world, okay? The past is the past. We got to let that shit go. We got to let it go. To step into 2022 and step into your prosperity and what you want, we have to let the past fucking go. We got to do it. We got to do it. Spirit, go ahead and be it. Thank you so much, Spirit. Be honest with yourself. Spirit, go ahead and give me another card for the be honest with yourself. You don't need someone else to fix you. Yeah. So, I, you know, it's crazy to do tarot because, truthfully, I don't really like triggering people. But at the same time, it's like I was put here to trigger you so you can understand eventually whether you want to resonate with this shit now or later. You know what I'm saying? You could resonate with it now or you could resonate with it later. It's really up to you. And that's why I had to try not to judge people, you know. Because I cannot judge how you feel off of your own situation because I did not walk in your shoes. The same way you did not walk in my shoes, I can't expect you to understand or take the same path that I did. That's why I, I always try to remind myself, don't judge. Think first before you judge is at the bottom of the fucking deck. I can't make this shit up. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Some of you guys need to take on different healing routes and really open yourself up to what can help you heal more okay so there you might need to you know um you might need to how do i say this change up your healing routine maybe get into reiki a little bit more maybe go see an acupuncturist i do acupuncture i used to do acupuncture and qigong um two to three times a week okay and that's when I was completely just sick and tired. That's when I had found out like my mom was sick again. And like things was just like, okay, it's crunch time. Obviously, spirit is telling me I need to move something around in my life. I went to acupuncture and qigong for two times a week, sometimes three for a whole year. And the transformation that I got from that was so for real. So for real, like I had to, and I was so apprehensive. I don't want to go to acupun acupuncture. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want people sticking me. And eventually I found the best doctor in the world because he is the best doctor here in Florida for acupuncture. I love him so much. He's a professor at um, UCF and he is just the most humble, sweetest, understanding person i could have ever needed anytime i come in he's like oh i know i know and he's 
awesome with energy. He's awesome with reading the energy in your body better than me. <laughs> he is way better than me. And it's, it's really, you know, sometimes we can be a healer, but we also need somebody else to come in and help us heal. And that comes with therapy. That comes with acupuncture. That comes with, you know, listening to certain musics. That comes with being positive and grateful in the morning. It, it's a change in your routine. You know how they say in feng shui, I practice feng shui a lot. In feng shui, they say, if you feel a certain type of way about the, your home, move 25 things. Even if you just twist it, move it. 25 things, and that will start breaking up the energy in your home. So if you didn't know that, try that. 25 things. Anytime you feel like the, the um, energy in your home is stagnant, move 25 things. Move the couch back, move the TV, rotate the plants. I don't know what to tell y'all, but 25 things, and I promise you it works because I use it all the time. I do. Hold on, you guys. Let me grab this other deck. I keep pausing this thing every time I do that. Okay, I'm done. I know this reading is kind of long, you guys, but it is your New Year reading, okay? So bear with me. Circle, I had to give me some more messages for my beautiful Sagittarius under 2020. Some of you guys need to work on your third eye chakra, opening up that intuition, really telling yourself, going within and saying, I have all the answers I need. I just need to um, get into that practice of tapping into my intuition. Rest and rejuvenate. Some of you guys really need to go back to your inner child. I don't know why I just heard that, but I did hear going back to your inner child, going back to the you. you going back to that that because i am hearing inner childs going back to that place where you feel safe and then kind of ripping it the fuck up and stepping into your new chapter so transforming that tearing it apart and really just stepping into your new chapter don't think about it too much I just heard that. Don't think about it too much. And I, I don't know why I just heard like in my head somebody saying like, so you guys might be saying this right now when you watch this, but you don't know. You don't know what happened with my last business. You don't know what happened with this. You don't know what happened. So what do you mean? Don't think about it. What do you mean? Just move on. Move on. Stand your ground. Move on. Because I feel like some of you guys might be, you know, a little bit hesitant to moving. Movement choices and decisions. Spirit, you are so good to us on this channel. Can't make it up. Spirit wants you guys to move around so that you can start breaking up that stagnant energy that you've been going through. I'm trying to keep these in order, you guys, because I have all these readings to do. <laughs> Thank you so much for always being patient with me. I love you guys so much, for real, for real. All right, Spirit, go ahead and give us some more messages. For our beautiful Sagittarius and what's to come for the 2020 year, how to overcome their obstacles. Spiritual gifts. You are in the process of develop developing and fine tuning your spiritual gifts, your intuition. What was I just saying? Fine tuning yourself. Take the old you. I don't want to necessarily say rip it up because <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. You know, maybe make an energy ball. Make your energy ball. Put put it into your energy ball. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Okay. Put it into your energy ball. Wait, hold on. This is giving me a little bit of resistance. Hold on one second, one second. Put put it into your energy ball. Yeah. All of your fears, everything that you've gone through, put everything into your energy ball with love and release it to the universe with love. Seriously, it works. I really wanted to say rip it up and just step into your transformation, but that seems a bit harsh, especially for some people, um, what they've gone through. Put it into that energy ball and really make sure you release it out. Okay, not in. The in energy balls for in are like love, your heart chakra, your intuition. You know what I mean? Bringing that into you. But in that, in this case, you want to put your fears or whatever is holding you back into the energy ball. Release and say, I release it to the universe with love. Transform it. Dark night of the soul. You are in the midst of a spiritual awakening. So Sagittarius right now for you, it's just extreme times. 
It's just an extreme ass time. You're really going through so many changes that you might be exhausted, but Spirit is letting you know that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. The dark night of the soul is rough. It's rough, but you have to look back at that shadow self because it's a part of you. Once you really accept your other side, like that, I like to call it your evil side. Once you accept that side, it really brings you clarity on who you are. Own that shit. Own who you are. Own the powerful person that you are. Step into that high priestess, that empress energy that you already have. Just step back into your power, okay? You are currently healing past life wounds from a past life connection. So some of you guys might have went through a past life connection that really fucked y'all up. But that was you burning through that karma so that you can learn the lessons, so that you can move on, so you no longer have to deal with it in another lifetime, even when it comes to someone else. If you get what I'm saying. Y'all got this. Y'all, spiritual awakenings ain't easy. It ain't. Spiritual awakenings are hard. Hold on, let me get some creative cards for you guys. Spirit, go ahead. Y'all cards jumping today. Seek out or act as a positive, inspiring, and helpful muse to another's creativity. For some of you guys, you're here and you've been, your purpose here is to guide and lead others onto their path. So you have to really get yourself together so that you can do that. You were put on this earth to help facilitate other things and people. And that's, that's a gift. Okay? That's a gift. That's God. That's that God within you. That's the gift. That's the universe trying to get you to get on that path quicker. That's how I like to think about it. The quicker I let go of this shit, the quicker I can get onto my path. Do not dwell on how you are going to listen. Okay? Do not dwell on your past obstacles. Okay? Or any obstacles that are in your way currently. Don't do it anymore. Okay? Obstacles are there for you to learn a lesson from it. Because why would they be there? Some people are like, oh, you know, my obstacles are people. This person won't get out of my way. This person stole my ideas. All right. Start praying for your justice. And I promise you, karma got you. Start praying for your justice. Because I just heard that in my head. Explore. Trust your imagination to help you journey through your inner landscape to find what you seek. Trusting in yourself. Trusting in you. That's something you got to learn to do. All right, let's go ahead and get into your love cards. Spirit, go ahead and tell us what's coming for our beautiful Sagittarius for their love life in 2022. Hold on, you guys. Let me get this. I'm thirsty today. I'm sorry. More thirstier than usual. I'm sorry. Alright. Either that or it's just coffee with an extra shot of espresso and it's so good. Okay. Spirit, go ahead and give me some more. Ooh. I'm going to take them. I low-key love it when a bunch of cards be flying out. Okay, the first one is surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and I will work out. Okay, okay, okay. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. You guys are calling in your soulmate. You're calling in the person that you're supposed to be with. For some of you guys, you might be going through this energy right now where the person that you are calling in is going to understand. They might have been into a similar situation as you. So they're going to understand you a lot more. Okay. When they do come in. So they might have gone through something that was similar to whatever you went through. So that's going to allow them to be more empathetic towards you. Is it empathetic? Listen, let me stop before I start saying the wrong fucking words. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. This is what your whole reading has been saying. 
Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to, to be and have all that your heart truly desires. You deserve love. You deserve to be loved. I always tell people that even if it's loved by your own damn self. Even if it's that. We're going to have some less, more messages from my romance angels. For my beautiful Sagittarius for the year 2022. engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of, of commitment for some of you guys who are already in a relationship this is letting me know that somebody will be bringing you an offer of engagement to be letting you know like this is what they want for some of you guys there's going to be someone that comes in to let you know you are exactly what i want and it's going to be up to you to give them a chance okay don't let don't let a certain conditioning hold you back from what might truly make you happy, okay? That might be for some of you guys. You deserve love. You are lovable. <laughs> hey, look, I love to see when this type of shit happens, okay? You deserve love. I, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. You deserve love and you deserve to be loved. There is an engagement coming in for a higher commitment for you guys, and you guys are going to love it. Calling in your soulmate. I'm going to stop being so fucking happy, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I literally said you guys were calling in your soulmate, okay? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualization help bring you together. So again, you're going to be calling in your soulmate, and they're going to understand exactly what you've been through, and they're not going to put you through the same thing. Okay, make sure that you say, you know, God, I really want a, a person, a man, woman. I, I really want somebody, whoever they are, that's going to love me for me. Say what you want. So write down what you want and what you don't want. Okay, that's the, that's the best way I can say that. Write down what you want and what you don't want. Reconciliation is here. Again, I want to say, remember the red flags. So if there's someone returning to your life, you're going to have the option, what do I want? Do I want to take it to another level with this person? Or am I going to listen to my intuition and what spirit is telling you? And this is not for everybody, but make sure you understand who is there for you and who is not there for you, okay? Passion, allow your heart and your soul, soul to sing with joy. Forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring for some of you guys your soulmate might be somebody you ugh, maybe you wouldn't go for your normally like somebody you didn't think you would be attracted to that's for some of you guys so go ahead and tell me what's going on for my beautiful Sagittarius when it comes to this situation for their 2022 love life Ooh. seven of swords hold on one second let me clarify the seven of swords And it, like, it's like, because the Seven of Swords can mean thief, too. So the past person that y'all was fucking with was definitely stealing from y'all. They definitely wasn't shit. I feel that strongly. So make sure, make sure you watch out for the red flags, please. Make sure you watch out for the red flags. And this could have been someone that kept running away from your love, too. There's something that they're hiding. So this came out on top of reconciliation. So if they do come back, look at the red flags. Make sure you're paying attention to the red flags, especially if you're coming into more money and this person knows something about you, something about a wealthy person, okay? Make sure that they're not just there to steal from you. They have hidden agendas. They don't have the greatest integrity. So make sure you watch out for that. Spirit, tell me about my new... Tell me about mine. I'm not even a Sagittarius. Tell me... <laughs> Some of you guys might be dealing with a Leo. Who knows? I don't know how that combination would go, though. My sister, like my sister's sister, she, you know, me and her. Anyways, <laughs> um, let me go ahead and put some more card spirit about this engagement card. Tell me about this engagement card for my beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Nine of Swords. Strength. Queen of Wands, the world, 
and eight of cups all right you guys because i feel like this is talking a lot about you like the past it's kind of like the past and the present are kind and the future are kind of colliding here okay so with this nine of swords it's letting me know that you guys have had a lot of grief in the past and you have used so much strength to overcome a queen of wands energy so there might have been like a third party situation going on and you found out about it and it's kind of like it kind of destroyed everything but also with the world here it's like it brought something to a completion it brought something to an end okay and it's kind of like you're completing this lesson and that's allowing you to move on to your next chapter now when it comes to this eight of cups here i want you to know that you gotta move on you have to move on without moving on from this whole situation it's kind of like you're just intertwining the past with the present continuously and we don't want that we, i don't want that for you i want you to heal and bring in the abundance you deserve and the love you deserve. Because this is talking a, a lot about your path. Some of you guys might have been dealing with a Virgo. Or have some sort of dealings with a Virgo. But something did come to an end. Go ahead and give me some more messages for my beautiful Sagittarius. Thank you. Ace of Wands just flew out. You guys are going to create the life that you want. The love that you want. Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Five of Cups. Three of Wands. And then the Ace of Swords. For some of you guys, you're really realizing that letting go of this situation, that you it's kind of like I see you holding on and it's just been cutting you. And you're finally realizing, even though I don't want to, I have to move forward. I have to let this go. I can't sit in this energy anymore. You're moving to karma waters and transitioning, okay? Some of you guys might actually be moving, thinking about moving or relocating somewhere else. I see somebody doing a travel job. So you might be doing your work on the go, like you get a job offer to where you can do your work on the go so that allows you to kind of take your mind off of certain things. With this three of wands here, it's letting you know that you're... There was a point where you were like, okay, maybe I didn't want to team up with someone. Maybe I didn't want to do this. But you might have teamed up with someone to really just bring some sort of transformation in your life, okay? And it's letting me know that you're traveling towards the new. You're going towards this Ace of Swords, okay? You have the new ideas. A lot of you guys are getting mental clarity also. If some of you guys need to make sure you watch your health. And also watch the people that you surround yourself with. Because new people can also bring new different types of conflicts. New conflicts into your life, okay? And not all the conflicts are bad. They might be, okay, spirit is showing me what not to do from this person. So that when I try to do it on my own, it's not the same. I do it better. You know what I'm saying? But love life wise i see that you're getting out of this energy of realizing that something has come to an end you no longer want to deal with it that person didn't pour into you the way you wanted them to and they i feel like they stole a lot from you even if it's just not money they stole i, I feel like they so stole, stole your joy and your wind out of you because you were so busy trying to give them happiness that they would you didn't realize they were taking yours you know what i'm saying so sagittarius Listen, get y'all y'all paperwork in order. Make sure you listen to the red flags and, you know, kind of release and realize that you are worthy of everything that you're seeking that is good, okay? And changing, trying to change into a positive, more gratitude um, aspect and start to really put yourself in the position to watch things turn for the better. All right, Sagittarius, you know what's up? If ain't nobody told you they love you today, I'm telling you I love you. Everything's going to be okay. You guys have me. If you really need a good cord cut and spell, um, message me in the comments and then send me an email that will allow me to do both, okay? Like, really get to it quick. I love you guys. Everything's going to be okay. <sighs> Everything is going to be okay. I really feel 
I feel like you guys are just like, I can't, I can't take any more disappointment. I really feel that. And I, I want to keep saying that everything's going to be okay, but then I do feel like the resistance with saying that. But I'm saying it because I can see it. If you're watching this video, this reading right now or whenever you get to it, everything's going to be okay. It's going to start looking up, okay? It really is. It's, a lot of it has to do with mindset. A lot of it has a lot to do with mindset. You're going to have so many, literally so many choices, you might not be able to choose. So be careful what you really ask for. All right, Sagittarius. I love you guys. Bye. This reading is over. Bye, fire signs. <laughs> if you made it this far, bye. <laughs> Happy New Year's. And I'm sending blessings to everybody, okay? May your New Year start, finish, middle. It don't matter. May it rain blessings on you guys, okay? Love you. Bye.